All right, guys, let's do episode two. Today we're gonna to be talking about practicing on the GS Pro. A lot of these early videos I'm gonna do are just some of the videos I wish I would have been able to see when I was looking at purchasing my system. So let's jump into practice mode here on GS Pro. We're gonna to go to the driving range first. So this is a pretty cool driving range. I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the nice thing about this setup is on the lower right here, you have um, where you can see your dispersion. So how far off the center line you are down here on the lower right, you have these boxes, these data tiles, which we'll get into in more detail on another video. Um, but I just have some basic ones here, my carry, my total length, um, the video, the, uh, let me save those. I don't know why it's over here too. I mean, I'll just click that one too. You got it on both sides. Um, the other nice thing about this range is you have, you can just use it as a standard range, just like you would warming up for a round of golf, or you can toggle down. So here you can toggle down all the way to about 22 yards and you have, um, you have a little target here with some circles and uh, you know, gives you a target if that's your preference as well. I'm gonna go back to about 95 yards. That's how far I hit my sand wedge about. And I'm just gonna hit one shot and then we're gonna head over to a different range. All right, that one sailed on me a bit, but that gives you a good idea what that looks like. It'll give you this uh, ball path that'll freeze there in your last shot. It'll show you down here in the lower right again. So we will jump out of this and we'll head over to a range that's kind of like, almost like Top Golf. That's gonna be on course practice. So this middle icon, we're gonna leave the skills test alone. And we're going to go to the night range here. So the nice thing about this software is you pay $250 a year and you get all the courses that are made public. So you're just going to go download the ones you want. So we'll go to play course here. We don't have to do much here because we're just practicing. One thing I will share with you is I have the GC3, which I think is fantastic. Um, it's very close to the GC quad. There might be just a couple of things that this can't do that that one can but almost every amateur golfer isn't going to need those things. Um, this also has a barometer in it. So I'm in Minnesota, just south of the cities. Uh, we're at 899 feet. Uh, the courses that you play, you have the option of setting this as your, your yardage or your elevation. So your clubs go the same distance as they would when you're playing where you live. Uh, you know, you travel to Arizona or somewhere else, Every thousand yards is about 2% uh, change in the distance, whether you go you go to sea level, it's not gonna go as far. If you go up in the mountains, the ball's gonna travel a lot farther. So you have the option to just keep your distances um, with this global option here. So we're gonna go into the night range. As you can see, this one's a little bit more fun. You have a lot of different targets to hit at and you actually can even move your ball on here too. So on the upper left here, you can uh, grab the ball and you have it in your uh, hands here. I don't know if you can use it over here. Maybe you can. Yeah, so you can even use it on this target over here to change. You know, probably not practical for this uh, driving range setup uh, because you know you have all these, these locked in yardages um, already set out for you and they don't change. All right, so that's the night range. Then you have another, probably my favorite short game practice area is the, um, we'll go to it here, make sure I remember exactly how to get there. GS Pro practice facility. So you set it to par three, and again, your elevation will, will stay here at 899 feet. You can change, so, so the one thing that I will maybe adjust on this is this five feet guinea auto putt setting. 
Let's just change it to, to eight feet. And we'll go to the this short game area. So it gives you 18 different, probably inside 80 yard shots to hit. And they all give you a little bit of nuance here. So this is 50. Um, you can sit here and hit this shot all day long if you want. What I like to do is say, okay, I'm not going to move on to the next um, hole that they give me until I make it inside here. So I'll just hit a couple to see if I can do it quickly. That's uh, probably going to be short, or does it going to get there? Oh, just barely got in. So I got it in the first try there. So what I would do is I would just go to the next hole. So you go up to this flag up here, go to hole two. So now hole two gives you 30 yards, a little different setup. Probably more of a bump and run shot if, if that's how you want to play it. And then hole three has this mound in the way, so you might have to, you know, hit it higher or, you know, play the contour and so on and so on here. So it gives you a lot of different looks and you can set up any game you want with that. And then lastly, what we'll do is we're going to go to uh, Augusta or on the, on this, it's uh, Georgia Country Club. We'll just call it Georgia Country Club, not to upset anybody. This course designer did an incredible job on this. And what we'll do, so we're going to play the course, but we're playing it in practice mode. So you can have the whole course as your practice facility. I'm going to play the four par threes and I will, uh, so, I mean, you look at this 7,560 yards. And I will tell you every fairway here kicks your ball one way or another. And every green has ledges everywhere that I mean, it is tough. Um, let's go to a little bit more decent yardage. So I don't have to embarrass myself on here. So we'll play 65. And we'll leave that gimme auto putt. Again, it doesn't matter, but it, it gives you kind of a target line if you're going to hit the par threes and, and not move on. And maybe until you make three in there, I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can select uh, holes. I'll probably just play this course so everyone can see it because it is it is really cool. I know this was one thing that I wanted to have on my software. I think maybe E6 or and the golf club have it. Um, but this is, I will tell you, I've never been there, but I could imagine. Well, I guess I probably can't imagine what it's like. I hear it's incredible, but this really makes you feel like you're playing the course. And it is so well done. And you'll see just from the the, um, the par threes that we play here or hit shots on. Uh, I'm just gonna play the par threes. So I'm gonna leave them all checked just so you can kind of see how this works. All right, so here's hole one. We're gonna skip that. So maybe I'll give you a little teaser here. We'll do the flyover video so you can see what hole one looks like. I mean, it's it's really incredible. I know the first time I opened the software, it was like it was it was quite a eerie feeling of, of of feeling like you're actually there. So that's hole one. What we'll do is go to hole. I believe it's hole four is our first par three. It's one of their longer ones. So two twenty four. Now again, elevation. There's probably a very good way to do that. I do a simple approach, which is just taking my distance and minusing the elevation or adding the elevation if it's up here, uphill. So this is 224, down 10 yards, so that's 214. That's a, that's a three iron for me. So I'm gonna try to hit all four of these greens in one shot. This will be the absolutely the hardest one to do. sent that so far right. All right, I'm gonna hit one more and then we'll move on. Better.
All right, so let's go to the second one, which I believe is hole six. And we got 179 down seven. It's gonna be 172. So this pin, if you've watched the Masters enough, you know that anything shorter to the left of that is gonna get, is gonna roll down or to the left a long ways. All right, so we'll move on to the next one. I missed that green. But that wasn't a bad miss because you're, you're kind of up there where the pin is. Problem with that is you hit it long, it's gone. So let me see, 10, 11, it's 12, yeah, so 12. 158 down about three yards, so that's 155. That'd be an eight iron for me. Let's head to the, the most famous one here. And we got that typical Sunday pin, so anything in the middle of this green is gonna feed back down to the hole. So we got 167, same club. We'll see if we can hit this last green. I just didn't hit that one far enough. So this system really gives you absolutely unlimited amount of practice options. Um, I love it. I'm really happy with the setup. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think. All feedback is welcome. If you have any questions or is there anything particular you want to see, let me know. Thank you.